Rhythm gotchas can't seem to go wrong. As long as they can supply memorable tracks and offer some variety in their tapping modes, fans will gather. Hatsune Miku, Colorful Stage, doesn't have a problem with either of these, as the game even threw in a meta-style universe before it was cool. The story of a rhythm game is typically lighthearted, such as friends getting together to make an awesome band with a few unnecessary obstacles. However, Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage gives us a pretty charming narrative. Each band within Colorful Stage has something they've lost within their passion for the stage, or are on the cusp of achieving what they want in their performances but can't quite get over that hump. I wasn't expecting something along the lines of a lead composer of an anonymous band who lost both their parents at a young age which drives her to create compelling music. But sadly, she feels her music will never be as good as her father's. It comes to a point where the composer never sleeps and practically kills herself to make good music that she doesn't even approve of. Deep, I know. There is also one sort of joke group out of the entire cast, but hopefully they get fleshed out more to fall in line with other stories. Each group is brought to a Sekai universe, where they figure out what they need in their musical journey with the help of various Vocaloids. The interesting thing is Miku appears in each world, but in a different form depending on the style of the band. Miku is a Genki girl hyper mascot with starry eyes in one Sekai. In another, she's a dark poetic girl who almost looks dead. What I enjoy most is how almost relatable some of these issues are. The mental fortitude you have to develop to find a breakthrough or fight through a collapse in your music is real. I think Colorful Stage did a great job at not recreating another Friendship Saves All story. A lot less cheerful subjects, but way more heartfelt than a typical gacha. Gameplay is generally standard to what you've seen in other rhythm gachas. Tap the notes and get the highest score possible. Of course, your score ultimately depends on how your team is built out. The tapping during gameplay doesn't feel bad, but this game is a little more unforgiving because a good note tap breaks your combo, which can be rather frustrating. Further, I found this weird dragging note where you have to follow a curve a bit rough on the thumb. I sometimes fat fingered it, which threw off the rhythm. Getting your team to high levels at a relatively quick pace is no easy feat either. The materials required to level up units come at a snail's pace after each completed song, depending on your grade. To begin with, many units aren't too strong, so expect a lot of C ratings with minimal growth. There are costumes you can craft to change up the look of your singers, but even that is a chore to grind all the necessary materials. Thankfully, all the songs are pretty catchy. Performances in the background aren't distracting in the slightest and look amazing. I'm a fan of Nightcore at 2500. Their music has a somber, mysterious vibe to them, yet still keeps me bobbing my head. One of the more unique aspects about the game that I wasn't aware of until exploring the menus is what I like to call their metaverse. You know, that thing Zuckerberg at Meta and all these other tech experts are trying to create that end up looking like Habo Hotel? Meanwhile, things like VRChat and Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage have already managed to perfect this. Every few days, you can take your customized virtual avatar and walk around a little stage with other live players to attend a short concert featuring various bands and vocaloids from the game. I was surprised with the intuitive controls and the great presentation within the concert, allowing me to have a great time. You can even type in a chat that appears overhead in the crowd, throw up stamps to cheer on your favorite performers, and customize your glow sticks to match the color scheme of who you're cheering for. Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage exceeds in storytelling and presentation and gets some points considering I can attend a virtual Vocaloid concert. However, the grind it takes to acquire items and higher scores might be more than some are willing to invest. Still, the music is what we're here for, and the game definitely brings the best beats to the party. Noisy Pixel is giving Hatsune Miku Colorful Stage an 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching. Please check out the full review at noisypixel.net. Noisy Pixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy Pixel.